Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for that warm welcome. Uh, it's an honor to be here tonight and to just to speak to you about Pro Bono uh, Institute and how important I feel that it is um, for not only for me, for people who are, are going through the struggle like me. Um, you know, there's several things that you said about what people are going through throughout the world. Uh, and, I, and I feel that's very, very important. I don't care what nationality or what country they're from, you know, Everybody has something that they're going to stand and fight for. I fought for my freedom, and that was the only thing I had left because everything else was taken away from me. Um, actually, it took me 32 years to prove my innocence from 1977 to 2009. Just a few days ago, it made two years that I've been free, and I'm very, very pleased about that. But there's still a fight that goes on, and the fight is for people who are going through a cause, and their cause is their freedom. There's a lot of people that are locked up that are truly innocent, really innocent, and you know, them are the ones that stick by their bond, no matter what, like I did, you know, going through four parole boards. And every time I went to the parole board, they told me, listen, admit to the crime, and you got a possibility of going home. I can't do that. I didn't do it. And so they gave me two more years each and every time. And then the second, the second time, I went to my second trial, and they offered me 7 to 14, and I didn't take it. They offered me time served, I didn't take it. Then they would, uh, the last uh, thing they were going to offer me before the jury came back with uh, uh, 20 years of life was uh, uh, Sobrano. Sobrano Alpha plea. And I was like, yo, you know, um, I can't do that. You know, all I had to do was walk out the courtroom just by signing a piece of paper. I can't do that. So these are the things that are very important about pro bono. Pro bono. Um, through Women Health, y'all had put in over $1 million on my case and it's still growing, you know. <laughs> people like, people like Shauna, people like, you know, or Peter, and, and, and definitely Ross has, has put in a lot of time into my case, you know, and still fighting uh, right now, you know, uh, or just dealing with my lawsuit. So these are things that are very, very important you know, for people like me and people who are coming after me, that we need your help. We truly need that inspiration of help because, you know, I was one of the guys that had nothing. When I say nothing, I mean nothing. I had nobody standing by my side at all from the very beginning. You know, my, my case was a sham um, because they only had, gave them $2,500 to work on a murder case from the very beginning. So what is $2,500 going to do on a murder case and, and, and uh, as popular as my case was? At that time, I was in the newspaper 18 times. And, and now I'm in the newspaper over 50 times. It's still growing. You know, so how do you explain that? You know, so it's, it's, it's people like you that are very, very important. And you, you stand for a cause. The cause is for the injustice of people that don't have the capability of, of, uh, or the money to stand up, you know. For, for what they feel that's important. And, you know, it doesn't matter whether they come through foster homes. It doesn't matter whether they're overseas. It doesn't matter if it's right here in America. You know, just, just by you stay, saying that, you know, you are willing to take that chance to help another person means a lot. And, you know, like you said on, on, on film, you know, to receive that, you know, Ross and Shauna and Peter know what it feels like and my family know what it feels like. To, to receive that blessing when I was given that gift, you know, when the judge said, take, the, take them cuffs off, off that man. He's a free man now. And, you know, that's, that's, that's something you'll never, ever, ever be able to understand unless you was there. That was something that you'll never understand unless you can feel that moment, you know, of, of the work and, and the dedication they put in to make me be able to stand here and talk to you, you know, and to let you know that your justice is everything. You know, you taking that chance to, to help someone else is everything. You willing to put your time in, you know, just to help somebody, no matter what country they come from, or right here in America, doesn't matter. It means everything. You know, it may not it may not seem like nothing at this particular time, but when you stand there and actually see that person, that person, that child, that grown up, male or female, and you can see that you helped them. That's something that you can have for the rest of your life. You can say, well, God, I know that there's something right in my life. This is what you put me here for. Thank you. And that's what this is about. That's what this whole thing is about. So I really am pleased and overjoyed that people like you are willing to take a chance on a person like me, you know, 
And without you, I wouldn't be able to stand here to today. I would still be in prison. That's, listen to what I just said. If it wasn't for this law firm taking my, and I say this with my heart, I'm bringing tears to my eyes, taking that chance, I would still be in prison. Period. I was still, I was still being in prison. I, I know they wasn't gonna let me go because I, 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 I told my wife, I said I'd rather die than admit to something I didn't do, and I meant that. That was my stand. So thank you very much for taking the time out to be here tonight, and thank you for taking the time out to want to help somebody else. Thank you. <laughs>